Um, we're going to have uh, an hour of hopefully some interaction and some fun, and I hope you come away with a couple of things you can use, but I also hope you come away with just understanding that this is fun stuff. You should have fun using it, and in fact, it actually works as well. There is some science associated with this. If you look at the brain, and there it is, there are different parts of your brain, obviously, that um, control the different parts of your senses, but it's really the integration of those five senses that creates response memory, emotion. And advertising, by the way, is, is, is emotion-based, is it not? You're trying to get your prospect to respond emotionally and rationally to your message. So this is a study that was done in 1985. Learning can be enhanced by stimulation of the senses, especially visual. If multiple senses are stimulated, however, greater learning takes place. Vision is the most important of our five senses. 83% of information that people retain is retained visually. Sound is really hardwired into our emotional circuits. 56% of consumers worldwide remember the ding, 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 right? That Intel sound, 56% can identify that as an Intel tone. So according to the study, sight, 58% was the greatest influence, but look at, at smell and look at sound, and look at taste, and look at touch in terms of influencing buying behavior. And we saw how multi, multiple senses can influence loyalty, so now we have a, a way of looking at influencing buying behavior. We're seeing that by, by combining tactile 3D interactive mailing pieces with engaging online experiences, we can increase ROI significantly. This is integration. This is integrating tactile, mail, conventional, with interactive online experiences. Here's a piece that you may have seen in magazines. This was um, a piece that actually Structural Graphics did for M&M Mars. Introduction of the new Mint Three Musketeers. And in this particular piece, you open it up and the, uh, the actual candy bar is, a, is, a scented, uh, is scented with the flavor of the new Mint. So you can actually peel it back and smell the new candy bar um, in this magazine piece. So this again was a product introduction. Um, Fourth quarter sales were projected at 8 million. They came in at 20 million. It became the, the new candy bar became the number one in its, its category in the fourth quarter. Incredibly successful product launch. We'd like to think it was because of our magazine insert. However, I'm sure there were other things associated with that. Um, but another good example of that. And they did a tracking study on this particular interactive piece. They found that um, the average time spent with it was 41 minutes. I mean, I, it was a dealer, and there's a lot to read. Yeah, it's like, oh my God, 41 minutes of that. Um, it's true. But 41 minutes, the recall rate was 90%, and the average time spent in the, 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 they kept the piece was four months. But here, this is, uh, this is mojito. It should taste like your favorite mojito. And you just open it there, and the, the flavor strip is inside. And let's see. Let's take that out. Very nice. I'll have another. All right. Make the, <laughs> he's buying for the house. All right, so you can use taste. This is the introduction of a new product, which is a new perfume. And we created the package for this, but we also created um, the brochure. And this was went into the trade and the store managers to help promote the use of, uh, promote the, uh, this particular product. So if you open that up, <laughs> so that whistles at you, and then you open up the retail piece, and it's nicely integrated with the actual package itself. So here you have the use of sound in an integrated way, in a B2B way, combined with a retail way. Fuzzy Tide. Tide at that point had started putting fabric softener into their formulation. And they wanted to communicate the idea of softness associated with the fabric softener. But there's an example. Touch that. You're automatically, automatically feeling that softness. We sort of understand, I think, how the five senses can evoke an emotion. But from an advertising point of view, you know, essentially it works for the five senses work because they accelerate a process that you must go through um, in order to have successful connection with a target. And that process involves attention, interaction, and involvement. So the sixth sense, this, I've already sort of alluded to this really, in the, in the dictionary, the sixth sense is the ability to perceive things in ways which transcend the use of the five traditional senses. The sixth sense transcends those five senses. So if the five senses are, are, are as a bag of tactics, then the sixth sense in direct marketing is the integration of these tactics um, in execution. 
integration in the various methods, whether it's direct mail integrated with a solid email campaign, solid with a solid landing page, use of pearls, all of those things, that's the sixth sense. That's how you're going to maximize the use of the five senses, um, by integrating well in, in a, across all media channels, or whatever media channels are relevant for you. And thank you very, very much for, for coming today.